Tonight, whether you have a military background or not, many people just can't help but beam at the heroism of our special forces. And what better place to show that gratitude and to learn more about this elite group than at the Navy SEAL Museum in Fort Pierce? That's where we find News Channel 5's Carolyn Schofield tonight. Carolyn? Well, Kelly, this is where the Navy SEALs got their start during World War II. The Frogmen, designed as a special forces team to go in ahead of the troops in the invasion of Normandy, eventually evolved into the Navy SEALs who took out the world's most wanted terrorist. Now, the phone has been ringing off the hook here at the museum today, even though it is closed on Mondays. People are making donations, and someone left flowers at the base of the Navy SEAL Memorial. Fifty-five Navy SEALs have been killed since 1990 in both Desert Storm and the war on terror. The museum put up 55 American flags around the memorial to honor those who are risking and giving their lives for our safety today. This is a proud day for all Navy SEALs, both active and retired. I just know that SEALs uh, today are, are uh, the force of choice, really. I mean, they they're, have tremendous capability, tremendous training, maturity, aggressiveness, and, uh, you know, if I wasn't a SEAL, I'd pick them to, to do this kind of operations. Now, this museum here in Fort Pierce collects artifacts from all Navy SEAL operations from back during World War II up to modern day uh, activities. And they're already making room here at the museum for artifacts from this latest operation. Reporting live in Fort Pierce, Carolyn Schofield, WPTV News Channel 5.